Hello and welcome to my video lesson 5.3 uh, part B. So uh, 5.2 we looked at all of this stuff which was multiplying uh, radicals and now we're looking at part B dividing radicals. Uh, so here we have uh, three different radicals to look at and we're going to divide them or, or simplify them and see what we get. So let's take a look here at the first one and if you think you know how to do it Pause the video for any one of these three, try it out, and then see what I get and see if you match my answer. All right, so first of all, we can uh, simplify by simplifying the coefficients um, here and here. Um, you can kind of think of this as, as if you had coefficients in front of an x, right? Or x and y, because really those are different, uh, different radicals. So you could simplify this in the same way. Uh, by simplifying by dividing by 2 on the top and dividing by 2 on the bottom. So that would give us 3 and 1 uh, on the bottom. And so we get this. So dividing on by 2 on top and bottom. Uh, next step is we can see if the uh, top radical uh, can be split up into more simple radicals for the bottom to be simplified. So this is what I mean by that. Um, we can have it split up into two different radicals on top uh, where we have root 5 and root 3. And since we have root 3 on the bottom and root 3 on the top, we can actually divide by that or cancel those out. And so this final answer is 3 root 5 as our final answer for this uh, simplified version. Okay, so you can divide the coefficients uh, if there's a if there's a uh, similar dividend or divisor, um, and you can also do the same thing within the radical if there is something similar that you can divide by. All right, so let's do the same thing here. Um, we can do it a little bit faster, and we can see if there's something we can divide by <clears throat> for these two. Well, we can divide by I'm just going to write this here. We can divide by uh, 3 top and bottom. So that would give us 9 and 2. And I'm just going to write this out again. And now we can look at uh, our next radical, our next step, which is looking at the radicals. Divide the top and bottom. Uh, it looks like dividing by root 3 again. So divide it by root 3. And so now we get uh, 9 over 2 but we have root two over root one or, or nothing. Yeah, so we can just leave it just like that. All right, and this last one, I'm actually gonna change it around a little bit. I think if we have a two here and a eight here, it'll let us see one more difference that we can do. Um, so let's go ahead and try this out. Pause the video if you, again if you feel like you know what to do. So first things first, we can divide by 3 top and bottom as the coefficients. Oops. So that gives us 3 over 1. So we don't need to write the 1. <coughs> All right. Um, <coughs> I wonder if we can do it differently. wonder if there's a better number that we could choose. That's okay. Uh, so now we can look at the, uh, the radicals to see if there's anything we can divide by in both places. And yes, there is. We can divide by root 2x in both places. Um, that gives us 3 over uh, root 2. So root x on top and root 4 on the bottom. Right. Um, what's nice about root four is that it can be uh, simplified to just two. So it's three over two or three root X over two. So nice and simple now. All right. Um, I hope that these examples are helpful and that they help you understand uh, 5.3 part B where we're looking at dividing radicals.
Good luck.